Really? Do we really need a video telling us how to sharpen a pencil? Well, I think we do, but I'm going to keep it nice and quick. Few things frustrate me more than a pencil breaking in a sharpener. Not only does it feel like you're twisting money down the drain when you see a pencil reduced from this long to this long before you've even made a mark, but you then spend the next 10 minutes trying to dig out that broken piece of lead from the blades. So here's how I avoid pencil sharpening hell, and I'm gonna cover graphite pencils, colored pencils, charcoal and carbon pencils, and pastel pencils. So I've got three sharpening tools here in front of me. I'm gonna take you through each one and which pencil I think the best for. So this first one is a mechanical pencil sharpener, and this is what I use far and away the most. If you do any kind of realistic drawing in either graphite or color pencils, then you need to sharpen your pencils a lot. Now compared to a little handheld sharpener like this one here, this is gonna save you an awful lot of time and possibly even repetitive strain injury as well. What I will never use again, so long as I pick up another pencil, is an electric sharpener. They will burn through your pencils like there's no tomorrow. The blades don't seem to stay sharp for more than five minutes and let's be honest, there's enough things in life already that need batteries. If you do have an electric sharpener and you get on with it, then great, you can stick with that and it can replace the mechanical sharpener in my recommendation. For everyone else, though avoid those electric sharpeners and stick with this so which model and which brand and does it matter this particular model is by swordfish and it's the scholar and it wasn't cheap but i do have another six of these mechanical sharpeners all different brands in the studio here and at home and they range from anything from 10 pounds 12 dollars 12 us dollars up to about 35 pounds or 50 us us dollars for this one they all work great. So my advice is to jump on Amazon, search for mechanical pencil sharpener, and get one for 10 to 15 pounds, 10 to 20 dollars, no more than that, and go for the one with the best reviews. So you wanna look out for brands like Exacto, Helix, Rapasco, uh, Swordfish, they're all really good brands. Now the pencils that you're gonna use your mechanical sharpener for are your graphite pencils and colored pencils only. So please don't use this for charcoal, carbon and certainly not pastel pencils. If you do use it for charcoal and pastel pencils, two things are going to happen. One, you're going to break your pencils a lot of the time and you're going to get frustrated. And two, you're going to very quickly blunt the blades inside of this and then all of your pencils are going to start to break. Even if you do get away without breaking pastel or charcoal pencils in this, the way that you use those particular media, those pencils, means that you want to expose more of the nib than this is going to give you. So graphite and color pencils only for your mechanical sharpener. And then that brings me nicely onto the craft knife and the sanding block. The craft knife and the sanding block is what you should use for your charcoal, carbon, and definitely pastel pencils. So you expose the core with the blade. And a quick tip here is to start further down than you think, about a thumb knuckle length, and carve at a nice shallow angle, maybe a bit shallower than you think as well. Once you've exposed the core, you can then spend the next hour and a half painstakingly refining the nib to a nice sharp point with your craft knife. Or you can use one of these sanding blocks, which takes about 10 seconds. So the craft knife and sanding block does take a little longer than the mechanical sharpener, but you don't need to sharpen your pencils as often because you're exposing more of that nib, more of the core first time. Now these sanding blocks you'll get from any art store, or you can even make your own like we've done here, just a few pieces of sandpaper stapled to a little piece of wood, a little piece of lightweight wood is all you need, really, really simple. Now the third tool here is this traditional little mini handheld sharpener, and these guys are very hit and miss, as you will know already. Sometimes you'll get one that works great, another time it'll do nothing more than chew up the wood and leave you with PSSD. But they are very small and that makes them portable, so they're ideal if you're sketching outdoors. Now this sharpener is by Staedtler and it costs around about £2.50, about four US dollars. And yes, you can get 10 cheap plastic sharpeners for that price, but this is by far the best handheld sharpener that I have ever used. It's really solid and it does the job. You will still need your blade and your sanding block for your pastel pencils, but for your colored pencils and your graphite pencils, this is perfect when you can't take a mechanical sharpener with you. So three tools there with a combined cost of around about 15 US dollars, 25 US dollars, which might sound expensive for sharpening, but most of that cost comes from the mechanical sharpener, which you only need if you're you know, a really serious artist and you're making quite a lot of art. These two here will cost you no more than $5 in total, the handheld sharpener, the craft knife, and the sand block. So thank you for watching. I'm gonna leave you now with some beautiful slow motion pencil sharpening action.